In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying perfect root radicals. Radicals come with this funny symbol that tells us we're looking for something to this power that equals the number. The power that we're working with, th that's inside the radical, we call the index. It's really easy to find this in an expression with exponents, because we simply have to divide the exponent by the index. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. In this problem, we want the square root of 46,656. The index is not written. When there's no index written, we will assume it means a square root or a second root. We said it is easy to find this if the expression has exponents. So let's find the prime factorization of 46,656. It's divisible by 2, 23,328 times, which is divisible by 2, 11,664 times, which is divisible by 2, 5,832 times, which is divisible by 2, 2,916 times, which is divisible by 2, 1,458 times, which is divisible by 2, 729 times, which is divisible by 3, 243 times, which is divisible by 3, 81 times, which is divisible by 3, 27 times, 3, 9 times, 3, 3 times, and finally 3, 1 time. We'll rewrite the square root now with its prime factorization of 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th power, times 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th power. We said an expression with exponents we can calculate by dividing the exponent by the index to get the new exponent. The new exponent on 2 is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. To find the new exponent on 3, we also divide its exponent by the 2 to get 3. Well, 2 cubed is 8, and 3 cubed is 27. And if we multiply those together, we find the square root is 216. 216 raised to the second power, then, is our 46,656. Let's try another example with a higher index. In this problem, we want the fifth root of 1,889,568. We can do this again by finding the prime factorization. It's divisible by 2, 944,784 times, which is divisible by 2, 472,392 times, which is divisible by 2, 236,196 times, which is divisible by 2, 118,098 times, which is divisible by 2, 59,049 times, which is divisible by 3, 19,683 times, which is divisible by 3, 6,561 times, which is divisible by 3, 2,187 times, which is divisible by 3, 729 times, which is divisible by 3, 243 times, which is divisible by 3, 81 times, which is divisible by 3, 27 times, which is divisible by 3, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once. And finally, we now know that this number is 2 to the 5th power times 3 to the 10th power. Again, to calculate the root, we divide the exponent by the index to get 2 to the 1st, and divide the exponent on 3 by the index, 10 divided by 5 is 2, is 3 squared. Well, 3 squared is 9, and 2 times 9 is 18. This means that 18 to the 5th power is 1,889,568. We've calculated our root.